Hello again everyone, we are Gaming by Gaslight and welcome to Slay the Spire, a little indie game that combines card playing with roguelikes. Pretty cool concept by the sounds of it. I was recommended that I give this a try a little while back and we're finally getting around to it, so let's jump right on in, shall we? Alright, start on with standard, makes sense. Alright, we got some cool characters. All right, so we can unlock someone else if we actually win. That's that's cool. So who is this? The Ironclad. 80 out of 80 HP and 99 gold. The remaining soldier of the Ironclads sold his soul to harness demonic energies. Burning blood. At the end of combat, heal 6 HP. Five unlocks remaining. Ooh, cool. New abilities and stuff. I like the sound of this already. Let's jump on in. All right, what do we got? Act 1, Exordium. Wow, that's a really big tile. Or power here. Alright, let's see here. Legend. Unknown, merchant, treasure, rest, enemy, or elite. Alright, we'll just jump right on in the middle. Not even look at anything else. Ooh, an achievement already. Defeat enemies by playing cards from your hand. Cards require energy to play. Once you are out, end your turn. At the start of your next turn, new cards are drawn and your energy is replenished. Alright, got some potions, a little bit of that. I mean, I suppose I should take a little bit of a look, make sure I've got a, a rough understanding of what I'm doing. But then again, wandering in blind is just as much fun. Play defensive cards to gain block when enemies are about to attack you. Block reduces incoming attack damage, but wears off at the start of your next turn. I'm probably not going to bother using block related stuff. As I've always said, I prefer being aggressive. Always aggressive. During your turn, you can observe an enemy's intent above them. If an enemy is intent on attacking you, be sure to gain some block. I mean, I'm probably going to learn that just attacking all the time is a bad idea. All right, what is this? This enemy intends to use a buff. All right. Let's see here. Deal eight damage, apply to vulnerable. All right. Ooh, I can even apply stuff to other people. All right. Eh. What do I, what do, I do here? Oh, oh, duh. I don't want to attack me. I want to attack him. Of course. That just makes sense. Discard pile, draw pile at the start of each turn. Five cards are drawn from here. Ooh. I can have a bit of a look at stuff, huh? Alright. I mean, I'm not gonna fiddle too, too much here. Got our map, got our deck, got our settings. Don't need anything else, so let's just move on forward. Ooh, incantation. Oh my, what, what does this do? Let's see here. He's aggressive, he's vulnerable, and also he's got some kind of ritual thingy. Gains free strength at the end of the turn, I see. And he's gonna attack me for six damage, so... Let's see here. Now, here's the question. Do I make myself even more defensive, or do I go hard on him? I'm going to try the whole going hard idea for now. Yeah, you see, we'll be able to kill him soon. Probably. Alrighty then. Alright, here he comes. Call that an attack? <laughs> there are no cards on your disc or to draw. Your discard pile is shuffled into the draw pile. Okay. Pretty simple. Okay, so he's gonna do 9 damage, and I can only do up to 12, so... Yeah, let, you know what, let's, uh, let's go really defensive. I kinda regret that. Especially because I do get healed at the end of the turn, so... It's not like I really needed to worry about that. Oh dear. Okay, so he's just gonna keep getting stronger every single time, I gotcha. Bazam. Bazing. And he's dead. Alright, that was pretty straightforward. Let's see. Do I want gold or more cards? Hmm. Let's add a card. Ooh, that's cool. Metallicize. At the end of your turn, gain free block. Card applies a power to you when used. Powers are passive abilities that remain for the duration of the combat. Ooh, I get a pick. Armaments. Gain five block. Upgrade a card in your hand for the rest of combat or deal damage equal to your current block. Hmm. So basically with this, if I'm understanding it correctly, if I play this on turn one, like if it's like that ritual thing, then what, I get, I keep getting more, uh, more stuff? Or, then again, this might be even better, because yeah, we upgrade a card for the rest of combat, so presumably, I don't know. Maybe the defense would have been better. Oh, I get it. I get to pick the gold as well. I don't know why I figured it was an either or, but I assumed it was. Ooh, look at that little guy. He's a jaw worm. 
Oh, good God. That's a lot of damage. All right. We'll, uh... Hmm. Yeah, we can, like, mostly nullify that. You know what? Didn't I just say when we started this that I wasn't going to do any defense? Silly gaslight. All right. Ooh, wait, 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 wait. Use this first. All right, choose a card to upgrade. Do I want Bash? Or, you know what, let's go with Bash, why not? Ooh, I like the sound of that. All right, so now this is like a super card. Beautiful. I like the sound of that. Oh, he's, no, he's vulnerable, Never mind. He's about to attack for only seven damage. Okay, so not as, he's not as good as he thinks he is, what I'm saying. All right. Ooh, what's that? Ah, he intends to block and use a buff. Not if I kill you first, which is possibly going to happen. There we go. That's some delicious damage right there. He's almost dead. All right. Okay, so he got a little stronger. He's got a lot of shieldy, healthy stuff. Bazoing. And that killed him. Good. All right. Ooh, a strength potion. What does this do? Gain two strength. Let's see, potions. Drink or throw potions during combat. Potions stay with you between rooms. I think I'm going to save this for when we actually get something that can actually challenge us, which kind of makes sense. Let's see, gain two strength. At the end of your turn, lose two strength. Oh, it doesn't even cost any points. I like the sound of that one. I'm going to go with that. All right, so we could go to a merchant or we can go to the unknown. I don't think we need to buy anything just yet, plus there's another merchant right up there. So, we will immediately go ahead and stab some stuff. You come across an inconspicuous pedestal of shining gold, or with a shining gold idol, sitting peacefully atop. It looks incredibly valuable. You sure don't see any traps nearby? That means there's a trap. Yes, yeah, it's right there. Ooh, obvious Indiana Jones reference is obvious. You know what? Why not? It's gonna hurt, isn't it? Relics found throughout the Spire grant unique bonuses and remain throughout your run. They can be found by defeating powerful foes or within chests. As you grab the idol and stow it away, a giant boulder smashes through the ceiling into the ground next to you. You realize that the floor is slanted downwards as the boulder starts to roll towards you. Oh dear. Uh... Hmm. I'll just take 20 damage. You throw yourself at the boulder with everything you have, and the dust clears, you can make a safe way out. Genius move right there, really. Probably. Oh, no, like that! There's two of them now! What is this? Strategic. They intend to inflict a negative effect on me. That doesn't sound good. Uh, let's see here. We will choose... I guess our regular strike, just because... No, that's kind of better. All right, let's get rid of the acid slime first, because I have a feeling that's probably, like, the worst of all the slimes. I wonder if I get to recruit friends. Ugh, gross. Yuck. What does that do to me? In 25% less block. Well, that's just not, uh, not good. All right, so he's going to attack me for eight damage. This is going to block free. You know what? I might be able to just kill him. Yeah. Oh, crapple. Well, good enough, probably. Okay, so I've become wounded, apparently. Wow, got our flex right away, didn't we? Not that I needed any of those things, but might as well hit them hard, right? Let's see, 16 gold, a poison potion, and a new card, headbutt. Deal nine damage, place a card from your discard pile on top of the draw pile. Reckless charge. Deal free damage to a random enemy three times. Hmm. I kind of like uh, Headbutt here. That sounds useful. Alright, do we go to another mystery thing? Let's see, there's also an... Oh, I'll miss out on an elite enemy if we go that way. But we we do need a little bit of health here, so... I don't know, maybe we'll, maybe we'll just go for this. I mean, I kind of want to see a merchant, but I also don't want to spend my money. I'm very tight with my money. Oh, there we go. Oh, God. Unplayable. At the end of your turn, gain one week. Oh, look at that horrible thing. 
You walk into a room to find a large hole in the ground. As you approach the hole, an enormous serpent creature appears from within. Woohoo! Hello, hello! What if we hear? Hello, adventurer. I ask a simple question. The most fulfilling of lives is that in which you can buy anything. Do you agree? Well, I'm not exactly a fan of, like, hardcore super capitalism. Regular capitalism is okay. So, no. Serpent stares at you with a look of extreme disappointment. Yeah, I'm not gonna buy a curse. Though I kind of wondered to myself, you figure that would work better if it didn't tell you you were gonna get cursed? I mean, there might be some strategic reason for that, I don't know. But, uh... I don't think so. Well, I guess if you want to make the game harder for yourself. Let's see. Upgrade a card in your deck, or rest. Oh! Oh, cool! I mean, I, I might want to heal, but I mean, making a card better. Be here. Maybe make Bash better? Headbutt better? Flex even better? I mean, this is pretty good. Hmm. Bribbity bubbity boobity. Let's see here. Um. Hmm. Let's see. Make this even better, possibly. Let's see. Gain five block, upgrade all card. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Yes. Definitely, definitely doing that. All right. You see, that's just genius. That's just a genius tactic right there. Or it's going to get us killed, one or the other. Before you lies an elaborate shrine to a forgotten spirit, move a card from your deck. Okay. Uh, I'll get rid of one defend. Just one. All right. As you kneel in reverence, you feel a weight lifted off your shoulders. Oh, then whatever that purify. Oh, that would have got rid of a curse. Probably should have read that to begin with, so I would have better understood that. And we're definitely going to fight an elite enemy. But you got to. Oh, good God. Well, that's kind of scary, isn't it? All right. Bazam. What we got here, anyway? Negates a buff. Enemies planning to debuff me, huh? Okay. And also one's going to attack. That's a little scary. Oh dear. Dazed me. Uh, okay. Uh, let's see here. Headbutt. Let's bring armaments back. Because, you know, why not? Uh... Hmm. Now, there's no way I'm gonna kill that thing, is there? Do I just block? I mean, he's gonna do a... A reasonable amount of damage to me. You know what? I think we're just gonna block. Try to reduce... Well, we'll block a little bit. We gotta keep getting these guys down and we're just gonna get blown up. And I don't want that. Getting blown up is kinda bad. Okay. Oh, I see. That, oh, that's not good. It'll make my life a little easier, isn't it? Or, and by a little easier, I mean a little harder. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Use Armaments Plus first. Followed by Flex. Uh, let's see here. 16 damage or 13 damage. All right, don't have enough for Bash, so we'll use a Headbutt. And we will bring... We'll bring armaments back. Just keep, uh... Keep bringing armaments back in there so we can blow up the bad guys. In a timely fashion, probably, maybe. Yeah, look at these guys. They've got nothing on us, though. They keep adding dazed to, uh... Yeah, I had a feeling that was gonna happen. What the heck could possibly happen if I upgraded all of these? Plus plus? Oh, it doesn't become plus plus. That's unfortunate. Alright. Well... God help us all. Can I, like, just discard these? No, I've already used all my points. Gotcha. Also, there was a shortcut on this, so I should probably be using it. Oh, boy. I'm, like, it's gonna be nothing but... Nothing but dead cards, isn't it? Alright. We gotta kill these guys and kill them fast. There we go. I mean... That wasn't as fast as I would have liked, but we're getting there. Also, what's this about exhausted cards? You told me nothing about exhausted cards. Oh, it's the days stuff. But they keep adding more. Th these guys are, they are pretty tough, aren't they? 
But ultimately, uh, you know, they're not they're not that bad. Not great either, mind you, but they're not bad. All right, that got rid of a couple more of those dazed cards. Nice, he wasn't even able to break through my defenses. Though, having said that, I am very, very definitely losing out a bit on, like, actual defense. So that's kind of less, or not actual defense, actual health. So that's kind of bad. But we'll, f we'll figure it out, probably. Or we'll die. All right, let's see. All right, are we gonna be able to kill him? No critical hits, unfortunately. Dang. Oh well. Oh, and our strength just went down. Good, good job. Oh, this is not good. Upgrade all my cards, or we'll just headbutt him. Because why not? Didn't need to, but good way to finish things. Ooh, self-forming clay. Whenever you lose HP in combat, gain free block next turn. That's cool. Also, what did this thing do? Oh, just more gold. Which is not bad at all. Fire- ooh, fire breathing. For each attack played this turn, deal one damage to all enemies. Ooh. Interesting. Hmm. You know what? Another flex card wouldn't be bad, because then we could possibly stack all the extra strength. This sounds pretty cool. For each attack played... Your- we'll- we'll- Nah, I'm gonna- I'm gonna go with Flex. I know that might not be the smartest choice, but it feels right to me, dang it. So I'm gonna do it. Is this a Mimic? That would've been scary. 75 gold and an ornamental fan. Every time you play three attacks in a single turn, gain four block. Oh, that sounds really cool, too. Yeah. I like these. Those should synergize well with each other if I am... I'm fi- oh, hello. A slaver? You're gonna try to slave me, huh? I don't think so. Oh, this is gonna be good. I like that. Bazam. Other Bazam. And since this is all I've got left, Shieldy. Not bad. I kinda wish we had armaments, though, because then we could have armed ourselves and got a little extra stuff here. Alright, let's see here. Ah, there's armaments. Okay, dokily, let's uh, play that and give him the old headbutt, like so. And what do we want to bring back? We will, we'll bring back a flex because why not? I like flexing, flexing for the crowd. Nicely done. Though again, our health is kind of going down, so that's much, much less good. I don't, I do not care for that. All right, flex, and do I just want to bash him? Why not? Well done, the slaver is dead. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting I've got these potions. And now that I'm full, I should probably just use them. All right, let's see, pommel strike. Deal nine damage, draw one card. Gain five block, upgrade his card in your hand for the You know what, let's go with pommel strike, why not? The ability to draw an extra card sounds pretty good. Also, I just noticed there was like a tips thing down there that I totally should have read. But I didn't. Ooh, so that's our boss. I like it. Uh, hello. You come across a dead adventurer on the floor. His pants have been stolen. Also, the armor and face appear to be scoured by flames. Though his possessions are still intact, you're in no mind to find out what happened here. Ah, eh, what the heck. Ah, dang gummit. I should have known 25% means 100%. Every time. All right, let's uh, arm ourselves up, headbutt you, and then deal a final strike, which did not manage to kill him, unfortunately. Oh, good, we actually have a bit of shielding already, so that that's helpful. All right, did a little bit of damage to us, but we get a bit of automatic uh, shielding, more dazing. Uh, let's see here. Well, we got to start off by flexing, obviously. Then we use armaments again. Nicely done. And let's see, he's got 18 damage left, so... I mean, we gotta kill them one at a time, don't we? Oh, dang. I, you know what, I should have uh, done a strike and then a defend. Probably would have been smarter. Oh boy. We're dead, aren't we? We came so far, but I wasn't able to actually bring it up. 
Oh, right, right. I can also, uh... Drink. Apply six poison to this guy, because he's... He's at the bottom. And, you know what? We'll even... We'll drink some more. Probably a bad idea, but... Gaslight does what Gaslight wants. Alright, we'll, uh, strike you, and then... Oh, wait, I actually get to do free strikes, which means I'm gonna get to use our shield. Excellent. Oh, that worked out nicely, didn't it? I'm glad. That was a happy moment, though maybe using all of these was less good. Oh dear, that actually penetrated me. I'm dead, aren't I? I've, I've doomed myself by my insistence. And... Uh, let's see, is in your hand at the end of the turn, it is exhausted. You know what, I'll just end my turn now. Because there's not really anything I can do. Ah, dang it, he's gonna attack. Oh, I'm so dead. I don't like that. Alright, let's, uh, we'll flex it up. We will bash him in the head. I'm so dead, aren't I? So dead diddly head. Oh, but no, because he's foolishly trying to use a strike card on me. And by strike, I mean a debuff. But foolish fool. He had all the chances in the world to kill me. And he didn't take them. Though I've kind of killed my... Ooh, a strawberry. Boingy. I don't really know why that's a boingy moment. Let's see. Deal six damage. Deal an initial plus two damage for all your cards containing strike. All right. I mean, that Body Slam one actually did sound pretty cool as well. I hope we survive to make it to this. That would be nice. As you walk into the room, you hear a gurgling and the grinding of metals before you realize... Or before... Yeah, before you was a slime-like creature that ate too much scrap for its own good. From the center of the creature, you see glints of strange light. Perhaps something magical. Looks like you can get some treasure if you reach it... Or if you just reach inside its opening. However, the acid and sharp objects may hurt. And it's only 25%. Whenever it's something good, it's like a hundred or a zero percent chance. When something bad, it's a hundred percent chance of happening. You decide to leave the area. The slime pays no attention, content with its meal. Good old Mr. Slime. Unfortunately, I have to survive two more fights. I shouldn't have... Ooh, a, a looter. Steals 15 gold whenever... Whenever it attacks. Well, sir. If only there was a way to stun him. I wonder if I get my money back. Probably not. Give me your gold. I'm gonna die here, aren't I, due to my foolish foolishness. Let's see, headbutt, deal nine damage, obviously. And what do we want? We'll uh, get armament so we can, you know, bash people in the head even more. And do I want to defend? Now nah, we're gonna attack because then we trigger the ornamental fan. I mean, I'm still gonna take more than more than six damage, I think, at the end of the day here, so we're gonna ultimately have a, a net loss. I mean, he's only got free health. There's no way he's surviving this. Well played. Oh, good. I do actually get to steal at least some of it back. Let's see. Corruption. Skill cost zero. Whenever you play a skill, exhaust it. I don't know if I like that. Reckless charge. Gain one vulnerable to deal nine damage. Oh, that actually does, uh, it requires zero points, so... Hmm. That could actually have a really useful effect on us, couldn't it? But let's, uh, let's play with Sword Boomerang instead. Mostly because I'm too cowardly to actually risk the whole vulnerable thing, especially at our current, uh, current state of being. Let's see, Perfect Strike. Ooh. Oh, that's actually really not gonna help us in this particular case, is it? All right, do I want to bash him or do I want to shield myself? I think the answer is I want to shield myself. Because we are going to kind of need that extra defense, aren't we? Oh my. He can break into two different smaller slimes. I don't know if I like that. Bam. Bam. And final bam. All right. Oh god, I didn't actually notice how much got there. Oh, I'm so dead. Okay, let's see here. 
uh, flex, pommel strike, and finally, headbutt. Alright, what do I want back? I would like, probably armaments, make us uh, that much stronger. And, oh, what's he gonna do? Unknown, but he's not attacking. Oh, he's gonna split apart. Yay! Alright. Oh, dang it! I should have used this first. Alright, and then we... Ooh. 29 damage, huh? Yeah, it's like the only thing that will guarantee killing something. So we'll kill him, because he's only going to do a negative effect. He's not immediately attacking us. So that's good. Ew, he's licking me. Gross. Oh no, I do less damage. That's actually really not good. Alright, let's, uh, we'll defend ourselves and then, uh, deal two damage. Oh, well that's, that kind of sucks. Well, life goes on. Alright. There's no way I'm beating the boss. I, I shouldn't have taken that 20 damage. That was, that was very, very poorly executed on my part, to be honest with you. Alright, and then we finish him off. I mean, so far, we're not doing... I mean, we've made it pretty good. Whenever you gain block, deal free damage to a random enemy. It can only be played if every card in your hand is attacked. Deal 14 damage. Add a, add a random attack to your hand. It costs zero this turn, and then it gets exhausted. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try this. I think that should be okay. Oh good, we get a rest. That's, that's right. And we, we definitely need to rest, so we get 26 health back. And we're still pretty low here, but... Alright, and then on to the boss man. Ooh, you're cool. The Guardian. Let's see, this enemy intends to block and use a buff. After taking 30 damage, changes to defensive mode. Alright. That sounds cool. All right, let's see here. We'll we'll bash him in the head. Oh god, that's a lot of health. We're dead, aren't we? I don't like that. Destroy. Oh god, I'm just straight up dead, aren't I? Uh, yeah. There's that's not even going to be enough. Not even close to enough. Let's see here. But if we do somehow survive... Oh good, he actually changed to defensive mode. Okay. What does this do? Take... Okay, well that that's good. We managed to chop him up so he wouldn't attack us after all. Alright, sharp hide. Well, I don't know if I actually want to attack. Let's just gain some block and then we'll... Uh... Oh, he's actually going to do some damage to me. Add a random attack to your hand. It costs zero this turn. It also exhausts us. You know what? Let's... Let's just end our turn. Because I I don't think we can afford to take damage right now. Oh, wait, wait, wait. But I have to because otherwise he's not going to change. Right, he's not going to change his uh, mode. Okay. Alright, defend. Flex it up. Flex it up again. Smash him in the face. Oh yeah, that's what blocking is for. And let's see here. 10 damage or 13 damage. And let's let's bring Flex back, shall we? Wonder if there's a way to upgrade our energy. I have to assume there is. Oh good god. Oh, and he's gonna he's in like super kill mode again. Wonderful. Alright. See here. Yeah, we can really only do one of these things, so let's start off with a little of this. Then, a little of this. Which was not enough to turn him into defensive mode, which means we are dead. Crapple. Oh, we're dead. Ooh, ooh. Oh wait, we're not dead yet. But we definitely are still dead. Okay. Well, we gotta add a bit of block. Or wait. Hang on a second. Yeah, if we use three of these, then we gain four block. And we've already got a nice amount of block on us, so it makes sense if we just keep attacking. 
Oh, dear. We're so dead, aren't we? Oh, boy. Alright. Yeah, start off with armaments. And... Eh, what the heck, we'll try a... An Infernal Blade, which gives us deal two damage four times, and then it gets exhausted. And it also requires zero points, so... Oh, and another flex. Probably should have it. Probably should have used that first, actually. All right, and then we add some more defense to ourselves. All right, and I think ultimately that kind of kind of worked for us, but we're definitely still dead. There's no way we're winning. Or is there? Probably not. All right, let's uh, let's add some more defense, and then we shall uh, bash him in the head. Alright, good job. Oh yeah, I'm dead. I don't have enough shielding for this. Oh no! Devastation! I'm going to need a new map. Ah, shucks. Well, we did at least get some new unlocky... Oh, never mind. Never mind. Anyway, that's our look at... Ooh, oh sweet, a new character. But anyway, yeah, that's our look at Slay the Spire. We'll have to come back next time and see what that new guy is. But for now, thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to hit that like button or maybe leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you're thinking. It's always extra double super special important with anything new on the channel. But until the next time, I will see you all in the next video.